Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in again. Uh, it's a sleepless illustrator with another episode of Happy Accidents. And uh, if you guys uh, can't read the title, we're going to be drawing King Kong. Not King Kong, but the Scar King, if you guys haven't seen the movie. Um, excuse me. I, draw, I drew Godzilla last week and people seem to like it a lot more. So you know what? I thought I might continue drawing... The Scar King, if you guys haven't seen the movie, I hope I didn't spoil it for you, you know, the, the big reveal. Of, um, if you haven't seen it, I'm sure most of you have seen it by now, but any hooser. Uh, yeah, uh, this is, uh, I think we could talk about it. If you guys haven't seen the movie, this is a spoiler alert, so pause this video, go watch it, then uh, I'm going to reveal something. Okay, moving on. So this is the Scar King. He's the villain in this movie. So uh, I didn't spoil it for you guys. It's on you. So we're going to be get to draw on him. And I thought it'd be great because since you guys seem to like my Godzilla so much, I thought I might actually draw this. In fact, I'm actually kind of glad because uh, I want to be drawing more uh, animals and things like that. So I want to get this in. So you guys will enjoy this. So let's just get to drawing. I'm already going to start drawing. So, without further ado, guys, if you aren't familiar, this is the villain from Godzilla, the new empire. That's fine. I didn't think that movie was actually... Uh, I've I actually been liking it, guys, to tell you the truth. I've liked some of the, the Godzilla series that, that's been coming out. So, if you guys aren't really too familiar with drawing animals, we're just going to get right into it. I'm just kind of drawing the, um, the face of... Because uh, he's a gorilla. He's kind of like a... I, I guess he's like kind of shaving. He's kind of balding. So, he's similar to, to, to King Kong. So, but we're just going to get some, uh, it's really easy to get animals, guys, you know, so not too bad. I'm just going to get it in the mouth. I'm going to do him a little, little squealing, squealing. Actually, I'm trying to get this video in, guys, in quick, because I told you I have an announcement. Um, hopefully I can make this announcement, but guys, I'm going to be leaving for Texas, uh, this week. So that's why I'm going to be posting this video a little bit early. So... If you guys are uh, wondering why, because I got to post this before, because I'm not gonna have my computer. Uh, I'm taking, I'm still gonna take something, you know, to, to do some work on. Yeah, but uh, but I got some family I'm gonna be visiting, so yay, family time. And uh, yeah, I didn't want to announce it too much because, guys, you know, you have to be, you have to be careful, guys. People, you know, I hope I didn't like spoil it, but you know, hopefully, uh, I don't get a lot of views anyway on my channel right now, so I don't have to worry about, you know, going away. Just gotta be careful, guys. Who you worry to when you tell your plans, you know, that's all. So, but anyway, I think I'll be fine. I'm just kidding. People watch my channel, guys. Don't worry. Although I'm not as big as certain people, but you know, we're trying to get there, guys. You know, and really, the, the you know, it's funny, guys. I, I hope you guys are kind of getting an education from this. I know, like, I kind of go off on a tangent because Jace, you're kind of pointing this out the other day that you know. Um, I should start doing, um, I promise you guys, like, <laughs> unfortunately, like, j doesn't understand, like, I'm, I'm, I kind of got into it this week, because I'm trying to explain to him, like, hey, like, I'm doing my thing, and, and I have stuff coming for you guys to do videos, um, I just haven't, I was waiting for the art show, and the art show, uh, the, that's done with, but, um, unfortunately, I had this, this thing, the, this thing I was going to text my, my dad and me planned it, well, he plans it, because he, he's, he's taking us all, he's, he's got the tickets, we were supposed to go in February, to, to Texas, but it was too cold, you know. So uh, um, we had to postpone it till this time. It actually kind of works out. This time is actually the right time to go. Right now, it's warming up, guys. You know, hopefully Texas will be a little. And if you guys haven't seen the eclipse, I was hoping to be there for it. Actually, I was almost there, but you know, maybe I'll see it, maybe I'm not. But like, you know, still, it's, I mean, I feel like time. You know, honestly, guys, you know, this has been kind of a weird. I will say it's been kind of a weird uh, time. But I think things are getting a little bit better. I've kind of felt a little bit good this week, so... Yeah, and I'm going to be happy to see my family, but... I just hope you guys are getting the right education from this, uh... Because, I, 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 like I said, most of the time I tell you guys, I'm, I'm more of a visual person. And I think you guys can see, if you have never seen my videos, you can kind of, like, just, you know... My videos are meant to be drawn along, guys, so... That's why I don't, I don't speed it up. It's so you guys, you know, I try to keep this under a half hour. That's why I don't color them. But uh, I want you guys to like to, to kind of follow along as I'm drawing because I'm drawing this in real time. So, but actually, I wanted to discuss that because you know the thing is, guys, I want you to to think about this. You know, I know I'm always trying to like add a little bit of a personal touch to my videos because I think that's kind of what you know that's what I like doing, guys. 
And it made me think that, you know, this is what I like doing. I'm not saying I don't, but like if, uh, you know, these videos are more for just like, just to look at. Yeah, you get some education, you know, but like, if I'm going to be doing videos that are going to be just straight up, like, you know, how to draw this, you know, how to draw guns, or how to draw a hand, or how to draw a person's face. Those are going to be coming, guys. It's just, you know, it takes me a long time to know, but the thing is, this is what I like doing, guys. And this is the topic of this video, is that you should always be doing things. Number one, guys, never tell people your plans, because people just, you know, they kind of like, they don't understand. Like I said, I appreciate any any help I get from anyone, no, no doubt. But the thing is, you guys are going to get a lot of unsolicited advice that's just going to bring you down. Because I want, I really want to emphasize this. And I was even talking to my dad this weekend. You know, I see him every weekend, you know. And, you know, and he's right on the money you know, when he was saying that you shouldn't, number one, he has always said you shouldn't tell people your plans, number one. And number two, you should never uh, let it get you, even if you do. You got to do your own thing, guys, is the topic of today. And that's kind of what I want to discuss because, you know, people, you know, often tell you things. And that's okay. Like, advice is always, you know, always, you know, needed and stuff like that. I'm not saying that, guys. But at the end of the day, you know, you're the one who has to do the work. You're the one. We're going to start on this. Uh, I'll get to this character in a minute. But I just want to get this out of, the, out of the way because I got 20 different people telling me, how to do something and instead guys you need to do things your own way then you know take advice like you know like I said so that's the thing i love about my dad because he he always gives me the right amount of advice but he doesn't tell me to do this you know do that you know because at the end of the day you have to remember guys my, my dad is coming from a point and i'll give you a little backstory about my dad that you know he grew up without his father his father died when he was real young so he didn't really have anyone to kind of guide him you know how to do things and it took him my dad's in his you know his his about turn he's in his 70s ish anyway um and all his life he's always been kind of doing things based off what you know other people kind of told him. he never really got to live his dream he went to school he didn't finish school you know and always kind of doing things you know what other people you know and then he had a family which he doesn't regret of course you know you know my dad does have sincere in his eyes that he you know he's definitely a family man he's always been so and I'm saying this because he's always trying to teach me that because I, he learned the hard way that, you know, if he'd just done what he wanted to do, you know, that's what I'm saying, guys. Look, look guys, if, if I, I'm, I'm going to love with you. I'm broke as hell. I'm in debt. You know, a lot of things. I spent money on this computer that I can barely afford. You know? <laughs> and, you know, I could, I could get another job or doing something else that I don't like doing. You know, I could go... Yeah, second job, I can go be a welder. Even if I got a career like as a welder or something, or as a forklift guy or whatever, you know. And yes, it pays a lot of money. And, you know, we're all just out here surviving. And I'm only saying this because, like, a lot of you are probably struggling the same way and you're wondering, you know, is this, you know, the right path? And that's kind of where the journey I've been on. And I'd say, yeah, if it is, guys, if it's something you want to do, because remember, guys, you know, yeah, the bills may be paid, you know, that you have a family and things like that are great. But at the end of the day, guys, you know, your family's going to grow up. You know, I'm not saying your career, your family, if you, if you have a good family, you're, 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 you know, because your career is not always going to be there, guys. But that's just because a lot of people don't do their, their what they want to be doing. You know, they don't actually get to do their career. You know, you, you guys and, and I get to, we have that privilege. And it is a privilege because a lot of us don't, a lot of people don't, you know, either they choose, I'd say they choose not to, but sometimes they just don't, life gets in the way. So, and it's tough. It's tough to kind of, you know, should I stay on this path? Will it lead to something? You know, I don't know, guys. I don't know where this path's leading me. I don't, you know, and it's always important to have a plan. But like I said, at the end of the day, you know, your plan can be, can, life happens, you know, things happen. And just the way it is. But what I'm saying is in the end, guys, you know, it's, it's, it's up to you. You know, if you want, if you want to take people's advice, a lot of people are going to give you advice based on what they think, you know, is best for you. You see what I'm saying? So, and that's all good and dandy. But, you know, you take advice when you can. If someone, if you want to learn how, uh, how to do something, you know, how to grow your channel. That's why I go to Jaster because he has a successful channel. You know, I go to people who know how to do that stuff. But I'm talking about, like, when it comes to direction. Oh, well, someone, you know, says, why don't you sell hats? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? You know, and there's always people trying to tell you how you should go. But like I said, at the end of the day, you have to choose it. So 
because you're the one you know after when you're in your 60s your 70s and you're looking back and thinking like did i get to do what i really want or did i just do things just because i played it safe i did something that that, that took me away from what i really wanted to do to do is the question so anyways i just want you guys to you know i'll talk about this later but i gotta get back to this character anyway so we'll come back to this and yeah so anyway about the character we'll go back to king kong um little backstory i guess from I, i'm not sure if this is a character if this is a character in ever in the uh, kong series or you know I, he's, I guess he's kong's villain you know whatever i wasn't too big on kong i i always like the the you know i'm not really a gorilla fan i always been godzilla being godzilla it just depends when godzilla's not being a jerk because in this movie he's kind of a jerk it's like his kong needed his help and he's like like like, dude, chill out. You think I would have come here if I didn't, you know? Because in the last one, they basically ended on, like, a little respect thing. Like, hey, if you leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. But anyway, but then this new threat arises. This this uh, Scar King. Kind of an interesting character. You know, he's got, like, this like, this this uh, Godzilla. I think it's a female who's who's got, like, these ice powers and stuff. It's pretty cool. You know, he uses her as, like, a slave. I think it's I think it's a her, guys. Don't correct me on this. I forgot the... It's a kaiju, whatever the hell. So we'll get this tongue in. Get the gums. Remember, these gorilla has gums. Remember, guys, the cave. The mouth is like a cave. So always, you know, we'll put some shadows in. And and he's kind of a to, to distinguish from Kong. He's he's a Scar King. He's kind of like a little balding in some areas. Like the top of his head, we won't see any fur, and I'll make that distinguish. So I'm just trying to get the face in. Let's see. Hopefully, we can get this. I'm trying to get this down as quick as I can because. Uh, I'm trying to keep these videos within a half hour, guys, because one thing my dad was right that these videos are too long. He wants to. <laughs> I think a half hour is good, guys, because a half hour is what is how long, um, you know, uh, Rob Ross's videos were. And like I said, I believe he, I mean, from what I understood, he painted it, you know, in a half hour. He would paint, he would paint one that would be the version of it. Like, so he painted one the first time, that one wasn't filmed. So, and then he paint the, the real one during the show, so. And let's just add a little fur. Remember, guys, fur has, and I've said this many times, so fur, when you're drawing fur or hair, we'll just get his, his he's got like a little bald cap going thing. And remember, guys, gorillas, you know, you just have to study. I told you guys, if you want to study animals, study anthropology. That's the study of humans and like, um... Uh, like the 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 ver I should say the different versions before us that came. Let's see, uh, hold on. Make sure that eye is looking right, cause cause remember, guys, gorillas. You know, we, that's kind of where we come from, if you believe, depending on what you believe in. But I, you know, it's funny. Like people don't understand. Like I believe in science and religion uh, as like a whole, guys. I believe that gorillas and 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 the virgins, like like if you guys say anthropology, like um, Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. I believe those are just early humans. You know. Ones that, you know, maybe God was trying to, I don't know. That's kind of my theory that I do believe in, in somewhat that, that, you know, because there is living proof, guys, that, that gorillas and apes are similar to us. So, so I believe in both, both those things can, you know, I'm sure I'll probably, I can't really see the pupils, guys. And don't, don't, you know, I'm just kind of filling in, but I, it doesn't look like the, the pupils are kind of a, I mean, even though we're drawing a gorilla, guys, it's still kind of a, so, but they have similar to ours, so that they have eye, eyebrows, you know. Let's see, let's just get this little dome skull going. And just try to distinguish the fur so you know that the fur is, is different from the. Uh... Remember, guys, when you're doing fur, for the light, when we were just drawing the fur, just, just try, try to keep the line. Uh... Um, pressure guys a little bit of pressure creates thin lines same thing with your inking guys if uh, a little bit of pressure more pressure creates thick lines so and he's got this little he's got a few weapons he's got this little whip like made out of bone it's pretty cool so we'll draw like a spine it's kind of a neat little just keep it uh Use these little U shapes for the spine uh, whip. And then we'll draw some little spikes on there just to get a little. Remember, guys, bone back then is very, you know, very tough. 
And these are bones of like a thick ass animal, so this weapon did a lot of damage. Poor Kong. <laughs> I always feel bad for I was starting to feel bad for Kong guys. He just like trying to find family, find those like his and keeps finding more enemies and Yeah. Godzilla keeps whipping his ass. Pardon my language, but yeah, that's why I don't like Godzilla. It's because God, they, they made it's funny because Godzilla, I'm not sure if he was like that in the uh, most of the films, like when he's battling creatures, but he was more good in this one. And they made, made Godzilla, he's very, um, you know, he's dominant in this one because, like, you know, I know he's supposed to be king of the monsters and stuff, but he's really like he's trying to make, you know, Kong bow to him. And Kong didn't do squat to him, you know? So. So just get the outlines and the fur guys, and then we'll add some shadows into uh let's see add the mouth in. I don't know too much about chimps and guys and things like that, guys, because uh all I remember is that lady who had like a chimp as a pet and it like ripped her face off. After that, I'm like, holy crap, I didn't think, you know. And I think was thing was trained as her pet. Like some things are just meant weren't meant to be pets, guys. I tell you, <laughs> crazy people are crazy keeping weird pets. I'm supposed to be flying on a plane, guys, and I'm hoping to God no one brings like a freaking snake or something like that. Like what what is wrong with people? Me and my dad were talking about like you know people bring like a support animal. Yeah, you need a lizard on a plane. Shut up, you know. I didn't even settle like these days, dude. Like people bring like weird animals on a plane. I even settle for a cat. Like that that's about as most as as as, as I'll I'll accept. You know? This. Oh yeah, let's save. Alright guys, you always get to see my last project. Oh, and we already had spilled out. Well actually this one will be because I, I put and King Kong just because I didn't think I was gonna do this. I was actually gonna be doing something. Uh but I figured, you know, guys, since uh Scar. And we'll just save that. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, I'm 17 minutes in. Yeah, guys, I'm excited. But, uh, like I said, guys, I'm back to my original topic, you know, because I really want to harp on this because my dad was actually like, you know, you should talk more about this stuff. And I do, I, I do talk about this, but I don't really make the, the emphasis. But I really do, guys, like to, because these videos are kind of personal for me, you know. Get some uh, shadows going up. I like to get a little of my personal tips. Like eventually, guys, I'll just be doing straight up videos of like how to draw. You know, I'm definitely gonna be doing a topic on how to draw guns, guys, because that's one thing I see people get wrong. Although, like Marvel Comics and some guys who were really good back in the day when Marvel Comics was good and not woke piece of crap. Sorry. Um, and if you actually, guys, if you really want to know how to draw guns, uh, I recommend the Punisher Max comics. Um, because it used to be Punisher was drawn, uh, because I guess they didn't want to have realistic looking guns, but that was a series that went real. It was for adults and stuff like that, so, um, that, you know, they were drawing, like, real M16s and, you know, real guns and things like that, so, I recommend that if you guys need to, but I'm going to be doing a series on that because I know how to draw guns, so, my characters use a lot of guns, and the thing is, guys, well, you have to be careful with that, that situation if you're publishing, because, um, guns do have... Um, legal rights guys um i'm not sure how it works when you're drawing but um you do need to get permission and i'm not joking on this so you guys if you're going to be publishing you know but if you're just drawing for fun obviously no one cares you can draw a glock or a beretta or, you know you guys are familiar with some kind of guns but just uh, be aware that that is actually a real thing guys because companies you know i remember guys i'm into airsoft and i remember um there was Glock was suing a bunch of people in the airsoft community who were producing their their guns and not you know paying the rights. If you guys buy airsoft guns, if you young boys actually, there are any girls you like to you know, there's a couple of airsoft girls I like you know that I follow, and um, they uh, you guys add some remember add some shadows to the fur. They um, sued a bunch of those those people because they were they were producing their guns and not paying the rights to them, the likeness rights, you know, because the guns are, you know, they look like the real guns. So if you guys have ever held an airsoft gun, whoops, I've got to add yeah, some bone. If you guys never held an airsoft gun, they're, most of them are pretty realistic. They're I mean, just about, they got like all the details, details, details. Do them. So 
Let's get the little spikes. So they got some details. And you know, they're, they're pretty much built like the real thing, so but you know, you gotta pay rights to those things. Use the likeness to sell them, you know. So yeah. And they for the while you couldn't get a Glock and Airsoft Glock. I me and my friends actually, me and, and Darkin, you know, the guy I stream with, he actually and I bought these these one of the last few um Glocks by KWA, that's a company. Uh, an airsoft company they make great great gun a real realistic full metal you know so they feel real they 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 they're even more for training a lot of uh, the guy at the store that i used to go to told me that they that that you know military or you know people buy them for training purposes you know to for the realism so that way they can train without having to use real guns guys it's so cool you know and uh they do that and then you know they train with them so and we bought the last two ones. Mine is, a, is actually a very similar. If you guys ever seen The Dark Knight, of course, I bought a Glock with an extended mag, just like the one that the Joker used. Oh, it's one of my favorites, guys. I love it. I, I used to use it in the field a lot of times when we go shooting at the airsoft fields. But any user. Remember, guys, you can add little patches like this, guys, to add the front. We'll, we'll add some, some uh, shading to it. And this guy, remember, this guy to distinguish between Kong has this little dome skull. So. Yeah, and this little bone, uh, bone saw. So, but yeah, guys, back to my topics. I really want to stress about this, guys. Is that remember, whatever you guys decide to do, if you just want to pay the bills, if you want to do this for fun, that's fine. You know, I'm just telling you that if you guys have something you really want to do, you really will regret it. You need to find a way to make money at it. At it. That way, because like I said, you guys are the ones who have to do the job, not me. You know, I'm doing this. And let me tell you something, it is possible. I've seen people who, like, I mean, look at, guys, look at look at Jackie Chan. That, that's a, I was actually watching a video about uh, to him today, just about how his dad almost gave him up, you know. He took one talent. All he does is karate, guys, and he, and he made a, you know... And my dad's always saying, you know, oh, that, that's, what, that's just him, he got lucky. Well... How come it can't be you? Maybe you'll be the next Kung Fu guy. That's the thing, guys. We're always passing the torch. So don't ever think that guys look, oh, look, I know this, this, you know, this economy sh is crappy. It's been a tough year for a lot of us. We're all coming off of COVID still, you know, the fear of it. But let me tell you some guys, there's always somebody who's made, who's not afraid to make money to, to do things, you know, even in times like this. And those are the guys who are going to be ahead of the game, you know, be ahead of the game, guys. Got a little bit of cross hatching. We're just about to be done, guys. You know, your 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 comics and your drawings don't have to all look like supermodels, guys. In fact, you know it's funny. My nephew is actually getting more views from me, if you can believe it. My nephew, you know, teenager, he started his YouTube channels. And I actually got to recommend to you guys, and he's he's really good. You know, he's very artistic, and he's got a lot of views. He does these weird little stuff and, and you know he I guess you know he's a young side, so he guess he knows what people want, but you know but that's what he does, guys. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's possible. And he's beating me in views, he's got more views. But like I said, he does but he's doing his own thing. That's what I'm saying. This is what I do, guys. And sure, maybe you know what, I can do something to copy it and, and, and get more views. I mean, that's the whole point. I mean, to get more views on the channel, and that's great, guys. Of course, you know, I'm not you know, I'm knocking you should always be Sometimes we do have to do things we don't want to do, you know, to, to grow ourselves. Of course, I'm not saying that. But at the end of the day, guys, if you're not enjoying what you do, if someone's telling you they how to do something, then then you're like, you know, you have to be the one to do it. I'm telling you, six years later, seven years later, whatever, you know, you're going to be regretting not being able to, to you know, because like I said, guys, family's important, guys. It will always be, family's always number one, guys. But for sure, those, you know, who's going to be there in the end. But, you know, like I said, why not be doing something that they'll be proud of you, that you worked hard for, you know? Even if it's something stupid, you want to make clay pots and make that your, make a living off that, find a way to do it. Guys, there are people who have channels that all they do is fart and do pranks and things like that. You know, that, I've watched this guy, Gilstrap, and, and, you know, he's able to have a family and, and, and you know, all he does is go up and down an escalator and travel to different places and, and fart on people, you know, with the... With the Fake pranks and stuff like that. Don't tell me it can't be done. You know? 
So it can be done, guys. You just have to find and it's gonna take time, like like I said. In fact, this is another topic because like I have another friend at work, guys, who was telling me how his this guy on Instagram, he like making a lot of money, you know, doing this, you know, selling hats, he's buying like five Ferraris, he's got a big house, he's got the girlfriend. You know, guys, that's great. I, I think most of it's bull crap anyway, because everybody on Instagram is fake. Most of us are fake guys, you know, we're trying to like, you know, make us seem like we're better than you know, I hate to say it, guys. That's the truth of it. Guys, they don't they don't tell you for you kids out there watching, you know, just so you know that real success is not gonna come that easy. Those guys who do those things, guys, most of them are either faking it or they just got lucky. And I'm not trying to knock it, but there are some guys, even my dad saying this, because my dad for his job when he's trading and stuff like that in the markets and stuff, there's always like these 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 um like prodigies or guys who just, you know, sometimes they just got lucky hinge the a lucky uh you know, and most of these guys, like I said, they're just selling something. Think about it, guys. If someone, let's say, hit the lottery or whatever in, in trading, made a bunch of money off Bitcoin, if they're selling something, guys, then that's just it was just a one-time thing or they're faking it. Because think about it, why would they need to, to, to sell you guys? Most people who, who are millionaires, guys, and who don't need the money, usually they'll do stuff for free because they don't need the money. You know, sure, they'll probably charge like something, whatever. But really, like if, you're, if you have to sign up for a program to a guy who says, yeah, I made a killing in the market, you know, and... Um, and they're trying to say, I mean, don't get me wrong, we're all trying to sell some of this program, but you know, a lot of times it's just, it's just cannon fodder guys. You know, they're just trying to say something. That's why they need to. It's like, you know, I talk to people yeah, at my job who, you know, say they do this and say, I'm not trying to knock them, but it's like, what are you doing working here? If you're making that kind of money, you know, selling this or hustling, you know, exactly guys because you know they make money here and there but it's not enough they still need a regular job you know so it's just a side hustle but a lot of people just don't understand and if they, they see you, you you kids you younger kids i feel bad for you because you see it on that little stray hairs you see it on instagram all the time but most of those guys guys are just you know they're just you know i'm not trying to knock success but you want to have everlasting success you want to have one that'll last and 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 guys it also goes, goes back to Todd McFarlane. Todd McFarlane is, is a perfect example of a guy who's still kicking it, guys, because he did it the right way, guys. He, he slowly introduced his character and got him into the psyche for so many years so people knew who Spawn was and were familiar and can recognize it. You know, then he, you know, established himself. He did it the right way, guys, and that's why he's still, you know, today, although it's always kind of suck, I will admit, you know, they're not as good as they used to be, but still, he's still making it. He's still lasting, you know, outlasting the, the lot of people that told him he couldn't do it. Because he took steps, guys. So, well, it's looking pretty good. I wish I could color this kind of distinguished because this isn't Kong, guys, the Scar King, but I think it's actually a little not too bad. But like I said, guys, learn a lesson from my dad. Don't don't waste your time doing something. You know, now he's working on his dream. Now that he, you know, his family's all grown up. We're all grown up. We're kind of doing our own thing, and he's on his own and. You know, my family is all kind of scattered right now, which is why I'm going to guys see. But take this time, guys, to do what you want to do now. You know, if you guys have a family, that's okay. If you have kids, still do it. Find a way to do it, you know, while the kids are at school, while your you know, wife or your husband or whatever is out. Don't give up on that dream, guys. We need people to start filling their dreams, guys. You know, if you got, let me tell you something, guys. If you have a talent, you know, if you have a, a something you want to do, you want to be a baker, you want to make pottery, you have a duty. It's it's not it's not a choice. You know your talent is wa it will be wasted. Even if it's even if it's not something you want to do, do just do it. If you guys like baking, just bake. Do it. You don't have to like turn into a whole business. But like I said, you owe it to, you know become a small business, guys. You can do it. Do it on the side. There's plenty of people can can you you know you can turn into like, you know a little some some for somebody. You know we need more locals, guys. You guys always uh, you know, this world's always complaining about these corporations taking over. You know, you know why the corporations are taking over, guys? Because small people like us are getting crushed, and that's what they want. That's why all the ninety-nine cent stores are closing because they want to crush the little guys, guys. Because they know all us little guys, we could stand up to all of them, dude. So, do you think I you think I want to go to a place like Walmart to shop? I have no choice, guys. Where am I going to go to a nice you know mom and pop shop? They they don't exist anymore. Why? Because they're trying to crush us all. You need to start fighting back and and. You know, using those talents. That's why God gave us these talents. And we got no... It's our duty, guys. We have no right to do anything less. There are some people who wish they had talent that wish they could do this kind of stuff. And here you are sitting like, I can't do it. Yes, you can. 
Yes, you can. So that's my advice. You don't have to take it, but it is what it is. So that's what I'm doing, guys. I'm broke as hell, but you know what? I'd rather be doing this than, you know, something that actually lead to something where I know, I know if I go to another job, I know where it's going to be, guys. So anyway, guys, I hope I didn't scare you too much. I hope this actually turned out pretty good, guys. So I'm going to end this, this, uh, See ya. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So I'm gonna end this. Um, I'll be back next week, guys. Don't worry, I'm actually coming back uh, this weekend. So wish me luck, guys. I'm gonna be with my family. <laughs> Holy crap! And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be posting this today, so don't be shocked if you see the video. So thank you guys for watching. And remember, guys, do it. Just do it, okay? Because you know what? Someone's got to do it. It may as well be you, okay? So you know what? At the end of the day, trust me, guys. You won't. You won't. Reg trust me. Regret. And this goes for anything you guys want to do. If you get, like young, and this goes up to the young guys. If you guys have a lady you want to talk to, just do it. Trust me. The regret is is worse than than not not saying anything at all. You know what I mean, that that's why you guys feel so crappy when you see a person. And you girls, you see a guy you want to talk to, just freaking do it. You know, give him the signs, okay? Let him know that you like him, all right? And for all you guys who are working on something, just do that project. You never know what's going to be. Even if you guys are small time, who cares? If you can make a few bucks or whatever doing it, I say do it. So anyway, guys, we'll, we'll talk about this next time because I really want to uh, touch base on this subject. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget to like and subscribe, share this video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week, same time, same place. So good night. Have a good week. And peace.